Hi everyone. In today's lecture, we will discuss about conditional operator in Java. So basically, the only ternary operator which is present in Java is called as conditional operator. And it consists of three operands. Fine. And the conditional operator is denoted by question mark and then colon. And what is the syntax? Syntax is very simple. See, you have to pass your condition here and then use the question mark and then expression 1, then colon expression 2. Now tell me how many operands you are able to see. This is the first operand, this is the second operand and this is the third operand. That is the reason conditional operators are called as the ternary operators also. Clear with this point? Let's see the next thing. So I have mentioned the syntax here clearly. If the condition is true, then expression 1 is going to evaluate. And if the condition is false, then expression 2 is going to evaluate or considered. See this? If the condition is satisfied, it means true then it will evaluate the expression 1 which is available after question mark. Fine. And if the condition is not satisfied, then it will evaluate the expression 2 available after this colon symbol. Fine. Which symbol? Colon. And this is what question mark symbol. Clear up to this? Any doubt? No? Okay. Let's go. Now, I have this example. Fine. So, you have to tell me what will come in the output. Like this, I have used system.out.println results. So, what will be there in this result variable? You have to figure it out. So, tell me one thing first. You have one variable int a is equal to 5. So, a is equal to 5 right here int b is equal to 10. So, b is equal to what? 10. And int result is equal to, this is the condition, 10 greater than 5. Is it true? Yes, it is true. So, if it is true, then what, which expression is going to evaluate the expression after the question mark? Am I right? So, what is present after the question mark? b plus 1. So, b plus 1 is going to evaluate. So, what is b? b is 10 so 10 plus 1 that is what 11 so this will give you 11 and this 11 is then assigned to this result variable fine now when you will print system.out.println result you will get the value of this variable that is 11 as the output pretty much clear if you want to see this i will show you in the Eclipse ID. Go to the Eclipse. This is my Eclipse ID. So, let me create one new class. I have this operators application. SRC, com.navin package, right click. Then, go to the new and then class. So, the class name that you can take is what? Conditional operators. Conditional operator is the class name. Simple. I want the main method in this also, public static word main, string array args, finish. Now, what was there in the code? Int a is equal to 5, int b is equal to 10, and then int result is equal to 10 greater than 5, question mark, b plus 1 colon a minus 1 and then system.out.println and I want what the value which is present in this result variable I want that in my output save this right click then run as java application see you got 11 right because this condition is true 
if the condition is false suppose now suppose if the condition is false so if the condition is false then which expression is going to be evaluated whatever present after the colon so which expression is present after the colon this a minus 1 so a minus 1 is going to evaluate it means 5 minus 1 that is equal to 4 so if the condition is false in this case the result will become what 4 the result will become what 4 remember this point fine now let's see the next example so in this example i have directly taken the value not the expression i have directly taken the value so tell me 5 is smaller than 6 is it true yes true so if it is true then considered this one right after the question mark so this 10 is then assigned to this a variable so when you will print this a you will get 10 in the output if you want to see this also let me show you remove this everything now what is there int a is equal to int a is equal to what 5 greater than 6 is the condition this is what the condition and if it is true then print 10 else print what 20 okay 5 is smaller than 6 is the condition smaller than 6 is the condition and then i want a in the output right click run as java application see you got 10 because 5 is smaller than 6 so this condition is true so it will consider the value which is present after this question mark that is 10 10 is assigned to this a variable and you are printing this a variable so you got the 10 as output clear up to this next so for a string see int age is equal to 25 now a string beverage is equal to if age is greater than equal to 21 so this is the condition this time so age is 25 yeah 25 is greater than 21 so this is what true so if this is true then which value is going to be considered the value which is present after this question mark what is their beer so this beer will be assigned to the bever beverage variable which is of which type string type so if you will print this you will get beer as the output if you want to check this also you can check by your own okay i don't want to do you know time waste so you can check this you will get beer fine let's see the next point so nesting of conditional operator a ternary operator is allowed for example this one now tell me first see at the top level so this is what the condition 5 greater than 6 is it true no this is false if it is false then you have to consider which expression the expression which is present after the colon so after the colon what is present this complete thing is present right now this complete thing if you see inside this you have again one condition 6 greater than 5 is 6 greater than 5 true if it is true then which value is present after the question mark 20 this 20 is assigned to this a variable so if you will print this system dot out dot print ln of a you will get 20 as the output fine so this is what the nesting of conditional operator see first and if you want to check the what the output let me show you this thing in the notepad let me do quickly so 5 greater than 6 5 greater than 6 then question mark what if it is true then 10 otherwise another conditional statement conditional operator i am using here so 6 greater than 5 so if it is true then 20 else 30 fine save this once it is saved you are printing this right so right click run as java application see what is the output 20 
and this output only I have shown you here see 20 explanation is pretty much clear now let's see next so in Java the ternary operator can be used as re replacement of if else this if else okay how see you have this right variable is equal to condition if condition is true then evaluate expression one otherwise expression two fine and then whatever value will come after evaluating this assign the value to this variable this is what we are doing till now now tell me how can i write the same thing using the if else c if condition is true then variable is equal to expression one this part right evaluate this part and assign the value to the variable right and if it is not true then variable is equal to expression two this is how if else work right so you can say it is a replacement of if else or the shorthand technique shortcut another way okay pretty much clear now one flow chart i want to show you this will help you so if it is true here you have this condition right if it is true then evaluate expression one and assign the value to variable if it is false then evaluate expression 2 and assign the value to variable fine this is what a flow chart so i hope this thing is also pretty much clear to you so this is all about the conditional operator in java so thanks for watching this video please like our video and subscribe our youtube channel to get the further updates